Welcome back to the shop. We found this old base for a drill press over at my grandfather's shop. I don't know what kind of base it is or anything about its provenance, but I'm going to clean it up and I'm going to put it on my stainless steel workbench and I'll show you why. So this probably came out of a, a kitchen, I would imagine. It's very utilitarian in terms of being able to clean down the, the entire surface. There's no nooks, there's no crannies, nothing to that effect. But it, it doesn't have the, the rigidity. It's, it's fairly flimsy. Not, not in terms of it could hold a lot of weight, I'm sure. However, it doesn't have enough backbone like an anvil would have if you were setting bearings. Clay was working on this little dream machine, and as he was putting bearings in it, I noticed that the table was was waffling back and forth. And I had my projects going on, and he has his projects going on, so he was relegated to working on this table. Although I have sturdier benches. I'll show you the bench that I've got occupied right now. All those. So I've got everything occupied in the shop. I always do. This is a quarter inch thick top. Maybe it's three sixteenths. It is a very thick, very heavy table. It is an outstanding table. It is the cleaning, cleaning bench, if you will. This is a Durham table. It is a true industrial bench. You'll see these in every machine shop, every, every shop in the world. I, I lucked across this on Facebook Marketplace. I've been very, very happy with it. If I could go with all one table, I would recommend this. This is just, just a great table. This table actually came with the house. It had some sort of a phenolic some sort of top on it that was disintegrating. Melanin, melamine, something surface like that. I chipped that off and took the rest off of it and it's been a good table. It's relatively sturdy. The height is a little off. I'm not sure whether it had different feet. Long story short is that when you're working on any one of these benches stability can be an issue when it comes to pounding on things except for this table and, and most of the time that table. So I'm going to clean up that other, that base, and I think it'll augment this bench nicely because I could possibly mount a vise to it, and I won't have to go through and drill holes into that. And I've talked to several people about mounting vices and not drilling holes in their surfaces for various reasons, bowling alleys, floors, or such. Well, I'm going to give you some time lapse of me cleaning that up. We'll see what it looks like when I'm done. That's roughly 45 minutes with the wire wheel and some muriatic acid and a boatload of blue towels. The, the only thing I would say about the muriatic acid is wear, wear gloves with that and work in a well ventilated place. I'm working outside. So you could still notice the fumes. Maybe a respirator wouldn't be a bad idea, but it's breezy today, so I wasn't too worried about it. 
I think this will be a nice addition to the bench, and when the paint dries well, next year, I will bolt something to it. But in, in the near term, I just wanted to show you how I was going to clean this up, and wish everybody a happy new year. Thanks for watching. Bye.